Hi, Katie Davis. Hi, Sir Goldley. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Yeah. We are installing yeah. your solo show, your debut solo show yes. at Sarah Gormley so Gallery. It's called Slow Blink. Yeah. Um, I'm recommending that everyone go check out the website and read about what Slow Blink means because it's fascinating. <laughs> um, I first saw your work at the Urban Art Center. Yeah, last summer. Was it last summer? It beginning of last summer? Beginning, I think it was June of last summer. Because I was yeah. getting ready to open the new space, and I love yeah. this about yeah. you, because I was like, my brain's about to explode. I can't add another artist. And you emailed like, me, and hey. you basically said, I have to be in the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved your work. Most importantly, I yeah. saw the work, and I love it. And so Thank I want you. to use a few minutes to help yeah. people understand yeah, definitely. your approach overall, and then we'll talk specifically about this piece. Yeah. Sounds and good. one of the things that I love is the layers and textures, mm. especially your use of textiles. Yeah. So every piece is incredibly distinct, but there's a cohesiveness yeah. to what, what's happening. So yeah. tell us a little <laughs> bit about how you approach your work and what we should yeah. look for. Okay. So this body of work was done within the last two years, and the textiles kind of came up, I would say, within the last two years. Okay. Previous to that, I was doing a lot of abstract work with paper, and it was during the pandemic, it was actually 2020, when I kind of, I had, my grandmother was moving into assisted living, mm. and I was given a lot of textiles from her house, mm -hmm. and I, I've always loved te textiles, and all these like vintage colors and these palettes were really starting to impact my work, uh -huh. and I just started, instead of using paper, I went to the fabric and began using the fabric kind of the same way I was using the paper. So I'm not, a, I don't, I do sew, but I don't sew in any of these. Um, this is so actually- So anything that's fabric is- It's glued with, it has um, archival glue. Okay. It's glued, painted over, attached to the fabric that way. It's not actually sewn in. Okay. Um, so I, that was my jump. It was from paper to okay. textiles. And I started using these thinner textiles that worked really well that way. And super simple question. Yeah. Would you refer to this as a painting or yeah. what would you call it? Painting. You would call it a painting I and consider, not a yeah. collage. I mean, is I, that, am I, I splitting hairs? No, you're not splitting hairs. I just see myself as a painter okay. in the world of painting and the people I'm looking at. I mean, I love textile artists too. I look at textile artists who consider themselves textile artists. I look at everybody, but I do feel like I'm more centered in painting. And so you're and incorporating my, the textiles I'm using from it, your family into the painting. Yeah, and I your feel painter. like I'm using them in a painterly way. Yes where I'm, it works well for me, where I can grab a color and I can work with that and it, a whole palette develops out of it. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's helpful. I thought yeah. if I had that question, other people might have it too. Yeah. So there's um, bed sheets, all kinds of stuff in here. So yeah. And all of the work sort of centers around the idea of home, domesticity. Yeah. 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 And <laughs> Talk a little bit about the evolution from the, the show that I saw oh, last yeah. year into the new pieces. We talked yeah. a little bit about some things that are happening for you that you're yeah, a definitely. little bit of change in perspective. So can yeah. you share a little bit about that? Definitely. So the show that you saw, it was called Feral Mother Domestic Instinct. And I also had a sound collaboration with a local artist too that was in that show. But it was more that body of work. And some of those paintings are in this show because okay. they really do kind Connect. of dovetail with the new stuff. Um, I was thinking a lot about feminism and domestic worlds, and I am a mother. I have three kids, and I am in the home world a lot. And also thinking about women in my family, and just, I guess, drawing that in to the work. But I was, this work was more, the, the show you saw was a little bit more making a statement mm -hmm. about kind of pushing against the woman's place being at okay. home. It was pushing against that. And I still do push against that. I push against that a lot because I'm a feminist. But the newer stuff, like some of the other paintings that you'll see in Slow Blink, I was trying to approach kind of a celebration of domestic life and seeing it as the home, as a place for everyone. It's not a woman's place. It's a human place. I love and that. So I, I love think, that statement. Yeah. yeah. And so if you see the home as a human place, it's there's, more of... There's room for everyone. There's room for joy and celebration, those things that I love. And, and yeah. authenticity, you yeah. mentioned. Yeah. yeah. All right. And comfort. So let's turn to this piece. Tell yeah. us the title and tell, tell me and everyone like what we should be paying attention to. Okay. Um, so this piece is called Feral Mothers. And I was thinking, I actually had read a book 
that was impacting me at the time. But um, I was thinking about women and this, my women in my family specifically, and myself. And those times when your kids are really little and you're really in it, and it's just hard to breathe. Yes. And um, I know it was hard for me in those years. But thinking about this feral side of women and how um, they can just let loose and have fun, either have fun or just showing There's more. There's a fight, right? Showing There's more, a of, yeah, it's a fight. It's not just all positive, um, but kind of just letting raw emotions out, which I think women don't let those raw emotions of feeling. Which comes through in the color. There's yeah. a very powerful red. Yeah, it's an abstract painting, but you can see there's two central. I tried to center it with there's two central characters. You can kind of see the heads here. That are, but there's also kind of a profile of a human face here, and then there's this body. I use lots of like sections of bodies, kind of fragmented, and the way I remember memories, like thinking of fragmentation. Yeah. So yeah, you can see kind of like animal bodies, human bodies, human legs, and it's this kind of wildness in it. But at the same time, I'm using a big ripped up quilt. You can see the quilt batting. Yeah. And, and I will there. say, I find that I say this a lot and encourage people to come in in person, yeah. but especially with the use of textiles and the dimensionality, mm -hmm. you notice it, you, you have to come close. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there's like doilies and <laughs> a lot of stuff in here. So there's a lot of those textiles, but I'm trying to like, it's an abstract piece of work, but also you can see, I call my work abstract figurative. It's like, you can see the figuration yes. in there. Yes, Wow. So. it's brilliant. And Thank you. I can't wait for everyone to see it. The opening is Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Five to seven. Yeah. Um, we are now going to move into the speed round. Okay, fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you're permitted to pass. Okay. First thing that pops in your mind. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your favorite word? Favorite word? Um, play. What is your least favorite word? Oh, man. Uh, work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, pass on that one. Okay. Um, what turns you on? Color. What turns you off? Uh, like too many rules. I like that. <laughs> I don't like rules myself. Um, what is your favorite curse word? Oh, damn is probably used most. Oh, that's not okay. a rule. Shit, a, shit, shit. Yeah. Shit. I, I, I use it's it. It's a good one. I use it more. <laughs> <laughs> Based on usage, it's shit. <laughs> um, okay, what profession other than your own? And you also teach at CCAD. I do, I teach. I, so that, yeah. You're not allowed to say that. Okay. What profession other than artist would you like to attempt? Attempt? Oh, man. Uh, children's book author. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And you can animate it. Yeah. I, I, I have some... I have some things in the works in my brain. Oh, let's talk. We're going to, that's definitely happening. Okay. Okay. Last question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Um, I liked your paintings. Oh, <laughs> and he or they or she yeah. definitely would. That's just speed round. That's what speed round. I probably would uh, think of a better answer. For that you, was a great right. answer. I love it. I'm so excited you're here and so excited to yeah. share your work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Thank excited. you. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>